Good morning. So there was an update for my Tesla Model S this morning and it finally gives me advanced summon here in the UK. Now there's lots of rules in the UK about kind of whether cars are allowed to drive themselves and how far they can or can't do things. So it's very limited. You have to stand quite close and it can only travel within a certain area. But we're going to try it out today and see if my Model S can manoeuvre from that parking space here to somewhere over here as if we kind of asked it to come from a parking space uh, to outside the shop or something. Now obviously there's no cars in here, we don't want to risk any damage to anyone in this first test, um, but let's uh, roll the intro and give it a go. Okay so apologies for any wind noise, it's cold and windy and uh, I'm going to move the video around as we do this. Um, but I'll do an overlay uh, of the phone so you can see what it's happening. But now we see we have this advanced summon button. So let's uh, try it out. So when we uh, set it up, the first thing we can see is there's a very limited space as to where the car is um, able to drive to. So I've got to try and guess a little bit here on um, where we want things to happen. So. I'm going to try and get it to drive to around here and then start. It's probably going to be that right now I'm too far away from the car. Yeah, so I need to move closer, so I do that now. You really see much on that because it was just so limited on how far um, we could get the vehicle to go. So we're going to try again. So I'm just going to stand just here. This is where we're going to try and move the vehicle to this time. Let's see if we can get it to go to here. So. 
So I turn the camera around, see what the car does. As you see with this limitation, it has to be so close. It's pointless, basically, uh, right now. But uh, let's have a look. So it's get really close to the car. No, it's close enough. I'm worried about it hitting these curves because there's no curb here in the picture. Because as you can tell on the map, it's not been updated. Grade is too steep to use summon. What? This is turning out to be a great fail video. Let's um, move the car up a little bit and see if it can struggle with a little bit less of a hill. Okay, we've upgrade, up, uh, upgraded, moved the target again. As you can see, we've got really so little moving range uh, here in the UK. It does make it kind of pointless, but we'll try again, see what happens. Hmm, doesn't seem to be doing anything. Maybe I'll try moving away from the car more so it's locked first. And then uh, move closer again. Okay, let's move forwards closer to it. Future here, ladies and gentlemen, self driving cars. Uh, doesn't, still doesn't seem to be doing anything, does it? So, still says press at least the button to stop the vehicle, so it says it's trying to do something. Okay, so I'm back in the car. This is a complete fail as far as, far as I'm concerned. So, summon. In its standard form, be able to reverse out of a parking space and stuff, it's always been a bit sketchy, it doesn't always work very well with the phone. And to me, this was just a good example of um, you know, the advanced summer summon um, also being a bit of a fail. So, I will try and do another video again, uh, that hopefully, shows a little bit more. But like I said, right now, its abilities here in the UK are pretty much pointless, there's no um, benefit of advanced summon over summon because you know, you've got to be stood right next to the car to be able to allow it to do anything anyway thanks for watching this video a thumbs up would be really appreciated if you're interested in other geek type videos please consider subscribing to spectrum geeks why not also follow us on facebook instagram and twitter and before you leave why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest thanks again for watching